dear students now we are going to see the fourth lesson okay first lesson we were studying about the general physical divisions second lesson we were studying about the northern mountainous region and the third lesson we were seeing the rajasthan plain today we are going to see the north indian plain the punjab haryana plain as you know north indian plain is divided into different divisions and the first division was uh, rajasthan plain that we have seen already and today we are going to see the north indian plain that is punjab haryana plain it is also known as western plains okay let's see western plains okay this plain is one of the fertile plains in india and it is found in the west of yamuna river and north of rajasthan and this plain has a very rich ancient past now here we can see some of the indus valley sites some of the indus valley civilization sites are there and the famous kurukshetra of mahabharat that also can be seen here and this plain has been invaded by so many outsiders like huns turks mughals etc let us have a look in the powerpoint so you'll come to know the exact location okay uh, as you know that this is a north indian plain and this you have seen already that is rajasthan plain we have seen and today we are going to see the punjab haryana plain so this is the punjab haryana plain which is presently occupied by uh, punjab state and haryana state okay right now let us see the physiography it may come for four more question write uh, or explain the physiography of punjab haryana plain this plain is of the recent uh, recent origin this plain has been created by the depositional work of the himalayan rivers okay and uh, so the, the first point is this is of the recent origin and this is created by the sediments brought by himalayan rivers now this plain uh, let us see the boundaries okay and when you look at in the power point you can see that to the west we have pakistan and here to the north we have the shivalik range here the shivalik range is there and to the south we have the rajasthan plain that is a desert area and here we can see the extension of the aravalli mountain which is known as the delhi ridge okay so this is the boundary of this plain so uh, to the west pakistan is there to the east delhi ridge north shivalik and south rajasthan desert so 
so this is, these are all the boundaries of this region okay now this plane has tilted towards south so in the northeast the height is more and the southwest the height is less in the northeast it is 275 meters and the south it is 175 meters so it is uh, sloped towards the southern part south southwestern part okay and many rivers they have contributed for the uh, deposition of the soil in this region and this region has extensive canal irrigation because of many rivers so there is extensive canal irrigation now um here we can see many undulating hills means the land is not proper it is not flat it is undulating like this okay and here you can see some other hills like this and the height of the hills uh, more or less 300 meters now uh the southwestern part that is the rajasthan side the region is semi arid and that slowly it is merging with the rajasthan desert let's have a look here this part here rajasthan is there so here the semi arid region is there and it is slowly merging with the rajasthan desert okay now um now here the important rivers are northern side you can see ravi bias and sadlej so uh, these are the important rivers are here and here we can see some of the seasonal rivers and these seasonal rivers are called chos they are the seasonal rivers only they will be there during the rainy season baki time un log nahi lagega lekin rainy season mein aata hai lekin bahut sare flood cause karta hai okay so they are called chos and the region between river sadlej and yamuna one more river is there let us have a look uh, this is the river sadlej and this is river yamuna so between these two the gagar river is there and it is only one river in haryana and it is slowly uh, entering rajasthan and there it disappears okay so gagar is the river flows to haryana and finally goes to rajasthan desert okay so um these are all the important points about the physiography so it is of the recent origin there it is created by the sediments brought by himalayan rivers west side pakistan east delhi ridge northern side shivalik south southern side rajasthan desert is there and here in the undulated region we can see the small hills uh, they are uh, approximately 300 meters height and this plain is sloped towards southwest northeastern part it is 275 meters and southwestern part it is 175 meters and here many rivers are there that is why this region 
has extensive canal irrigation facilities. Now, the southern, uh, southwestern part, there is a semi-arid region and it is slowly merging with the Rajasthan desert. And the important rivers in this region are Ravi, Bias and Sadlaj. And here some of the seasonal rivers, only during the rainy season they will come. So they are called Chas, but they are causing floods. And Gagar river is there, it is in between river Sadlaj and Yamuna. And it is flowing to Hari uh, Haryana and finally disappears in the Rajasthan desert. So, take down this, then we'll go to the next part.